Good morning and welcome back to a not so cold, well it's brisk, but it's not cold, Saturday morning. What are we doing today? Well, I don't know. And if I don't know, you don't know. So we're not going to know together. get the fire pit going I'm gonna straighten the shop around but first well we gotta lay some straw down Thinking. That's a lot of straw in that backyard. What are you gonna do with it? Well, come springtime, it's gotta come up. If we don't do this, the mud in the house, there's more than I want to deal with. We have our straw all laid out. I've got an extra bale left. I might run up town to the dollar store later and get a small tarp to cover it up put it beside the shop but right now we got to get some wood over by the fire pit we got a little bit left but i think we need to get some more i gotta get that ibc tote moved around so that i can get that full of firewood as well then we'll be sitting good Got us a little fire going. We got our wood stacked up here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get that all down to some nice hot coals. And that's what we're gonna cook our steak on. Not the fire, but the heat from the coals. And my lesson last time when I burned a good steak. Not this time. Got a couple pieces of wood going here now. I can hear the water sizzling now. I don't know if it's because the bottom of the pit is wet because it is or there's a little bit of moisture in the wood I guess time will tell there is some drier wood down on the bottom I could always go grab that the winter time around here it usually gets cold and I mean cold so we've had more rain this year than we've actually had cold weather and while well, it's been cold but rain with the cold but not enough to snow and as you saw before we we've only had maybe six inches of snow all year long if you're not gonna snow don't snow and I'd rather it warm up a little bit, which is what it's doing right now. But, as I mentioned, we're going to be making some changes to the shop here yet again. And I'll show you what's going on. Brought all that tin roofing room. Tin roofing room. I brought all that tin roofing home from Farmer Paul's. Because that is going on here. And I've got a lot of it, more than what I need. So what I'm going to do, yep. I know, I know. Redo Larry, I'm going to be doing things like four times. This be, like I said, fourth time. I'm going to take that metal. I'm going to put it across the back. Another piece up the side. Another piece up the side here. And this wall is going to have all my oil and gas and hang all my tools. Get rid of that pegboard to make the tool holders. Uh, I watched a guy on YouTube do that and it looked pretty cool. It looked nice. It looked neat. And that's what we're going to do. Plus, this stuff here is going to be either gone or put somewhere else. We're going to move this new workbench that we made down further. This one here is going to come over here. The welding cart is going to go over there. I know I could just show you, but I'm not doing it right now, so I'm just going to tell you. The welding cart is going to go over here, and I'm going to cut a window in right here. The thing about possibly doing is moving our lockers 
down to the corner down there and it'll create out some more wall space over here some of the things just don't have a place to go and that's what clutters it up if it's got a place to go then you save your clutter i don't like clutter i don't like clutter at all i grab another piece that might be a little bit drier yeah, hard to tell that one might be wet too I got these two log here and a log there and that's what I put my grates across well we're gonna get that rip in here right shortly now the wood does have some moisture in it so I'm having to use some of the uh, kindling that I got to get it going but it seems to have taken off now you can see the moisture coming out right here that means it's not burning very efficiently I've never been accused of being efficient anyway. So I guess this is going to work. Or it won't. Hey, what do you got? Ready? You're a good boy, aren't you? Oh. Ow. Oh. All right, we'll keep an eye on this for a while. Make sure it's moving. Again. <coughs> Sit. <coughs> One thing we do got to get done, since the weather's warming up, is change the oil in Jen's Durango. We got the oil filter yesterday. I got to tell you, uh, I went to CarQuest here in town. I also went to Canadian Tire here in town. Canadian Tire is usually everybody's go-to, but don't count out the specialty shops like the CarQuest or Napa. I haven't been to Napa, but went to CarQuest. Reason being is Canadian Tire here in town did not have it, but the Canadian Tires that I did check, the oil filter for Jen's car was around twenty dollars, fifteen ninety-five or something like that. I went to CarQuest. This was nine ninety-five, but that's going to be tomorrow's job. Save myself six bucks. Almost felt like I was a somebody. So I'm going to explain what's going on. Explain, explain. I said, it, man, explain. Sit down and put your seatbelt on. I'm not mansplaining nothing. Anyway, here's what's going to happen going forward. I've been reading through the analytics on our channel. Seems all y'all are on the YouTubes on Saturday mornings around 11 o'clock, 11.30. So, every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, I'm going to post a new video. It's going to be longer form content. Basically what's going on throughout the week. Fishing, fixing whatever we got to do, it'll be there. However, throughout the week, and I've never really been on a schedule. Sometimes I've done daily, sometimes I've done every other day, three times a week. Kind of been all over the map. And I think that's what's hurting us. So, that's what I've decided to do to help better the channel, help grow the channel, bring you all some better content. And you might get maybe two or three videos throughout the week just to see how that goes so actually you know what that's what i'm gonna do decision made executive decision made i'm the only one but still executive decision i'm gonna post two videos during the week and a main video on saturday morning at 11 o'clock could be fishing could be going somewhere uh could be fixing something could be doing something here in the shop because i got work to do here trust me so i clarify that because i felt like i had to make a change and that's the direction we're gonna go I hope you all following in the same direction. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel because again, the anal did I say again again? I said again. The analytics says 95% of you are not subscribed to our channel. But you always come back and watch. So please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along. Then the notification bell. I almost stuttered on that one. The notification bell because you'll get up to up toed. Nope. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. Am I trying? I think I'm trying to talk too fast. Or English is not my first language. Could be both. Anyway, that's what we're doing. A couple times during the week, main video on Saturday. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell notification. That's it. See, I could have just said that and been done with it. But no, I had to get all long winded with it and cause myself a problem. We got the meat done, the salad's done. Salad. 
we got the meat done salads not food we got the meat done the salads done the pies done the potatoes are done everything's done i'm going to show you the plate i am not going to be rude and eat in front of you i think that's rude because all you can do is look at that juicy steak and the potatoes and you don't get none but anyway that's where we're going to leave it so i'm not going to talk anymore that's going to be the end of the video and i'm just going to show you the plate and you just have to use your imagination as to how it tasted see you in the next one later